So if I have a hundred with me and if I multiply that by 10, then I get a thousand. If I multiply that by another 10, I get 10,000. 10,000. And if I multiply that by another 10, I get one lakh. Four, five, that's a lakh. And if I multiply this by another 10, then I get 10 lakhs and I have to add one more zero. I hope I'm doing this correctly. Two zeros, three zeros, four zeros, five zeros, six zeros. And you're probably familiar with this. And then I finally go to my number of one zero 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 zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. So these are as large as the numbers we will mostly see. And of course, numbers can keep going forever and ever and ever. But you know that all these have names in the Indian system. So if I use green for the Indian system, then I know this is a hundred. I'm going to write just a H for this. This is a thousand. This is a 10,000, so I'm going to write TTH, 10,000. This is a lakh, this is 10 lakhs, and this is a crore. And with this, maybe you should write crore in capital. I'm just a big guy. So hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, lakh, ten lakhs, and crore. And this is what we do in the Indian system. And what's interesting here, if you notice, is that to go from a thousand to a lakh, you multiply by... I'm going to do this here by a hundred, by a hundred. So hundred thousands is a lakh. And then you do the same thing to go from a lakh to a crore. So you do a hundred to go from a lakh to a crore. So a hundred lakhs makes a crore, right? So starting from thousands, a hundred times is a lakh and a hundred times again is a crore. Now this is the Indian system, but if you go abroad and if you happen to talk to people who are not from India, maybe they won't even know what a lakh is and what a crore is. We use these words a lot in India. Like if there is a corruption scandal, we say that it was so many lakh crores corruption and then I don't even know how many zeros go in it. But then for somebody outside, we might say it was some million, millions of rupees or sometimes billions of rupees of corruption. Uh, maybe a more positive example would be that, uh, uh, you know, the entire businesses and all that is worth millions and billions of uh, rupees or, or dollars, you know, in terms of currency. So million is one word, a billion is another word. Uh, it, I don't know why, if I write capital, it looks better. Yeah, millions and billions. And these are very big numbers. Just like lakhs and crores were very big numbers. But then we still don't know how big they really are, right? So how big is a million? In terms of thousands, in terms of lakhs, then compared to lakhs, is a million bigger or is it smaller? Is a billion bigger than a lakh? Is it smaller than a crore or is it bigger than a crore? So let's try and answer these questions. So I'm going to remove these hundreds over here because you already know them. So now we're going to use these same numbers. If you notice, these numbers don't change. They don't care. Like one followed by two zeros is always 10 times smaller than one followed by three zeros. And this keeps going on. This relationship of multiplying by 10 is always a constant. The only thing that changes with respect to countries is what we call these numbers, just the names. So maybe I can use orange for, for what we do internationally. So the good thing is that even internationally, this number is still called 100 and this number is still called a thousand. Thousand, maybe I should just stick to T. Thousand. And this number internationally is also called 10,000. So till here, we are the same. India and the rest of the world is exactly the same. It's starting from here that the difference starts coming. So in India, we call this a lakh, right? What is the lakh really? It's a thousand multiplied by, let's take this color again. Let's a thousand multiplied by 10 multiplied by 10. So a hundred thousand is what we call a lakh. In the international system, the good thing or, some, or the interesting thing is that they call this just a hundred thousand. A hundred, a hundred thousand. So you start from thousand, ten times that, ten thousand. Ten times that again is a hundred thousand. And that's it. You don't need a new word called lakh in the international system. So what's a lakh called in the international system? It's called a hundred thousand. But then they do give a new name, but that's for this number. This number that we call 10 lakhs, which is basically one followed by six zeros, our first seven digit number, that one is called a million. It's called a million. M-I-L-L-I-O-N. A million. 
So now you know exactly how big a million is. It's exactly equal to 10 lakhs. And so if you were to ask, if I were to ask you, which is bigger, a million or a lakh, you'll say a million is bigger, but not just, you know, just a little bit bigger, but it's 10 times bigger. So you take 10 lakhs and then you get a million. And of course, then what's a crore? So it so happens that now a crore is just 10 times 10 lakhs, right? 10 lakhs multiplied by 10 gives you a crore. So a million multiplied by 10 will just be 10 million. So how big is a crore? A crore is, in India, what we call a crore, is 10 times a million. So it's bigger than a million by 10 times. But then we are done here. The Indian system ends with this name. Everything else is just written in terms of crores, like 10 crores, 100 crores, or a lakh crores, or, or a crore crores, if you want to. Then what do we do about bigger numbers than these? In the international system, there are more and more names, millions, and after which there are billions. So how big is a billion? So now you guess that the billion must be bigger than a crore. So let's start writing those numbers down. So we're getting into very big numbers here, right? A crore is an eight digit number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven zeros and a one. So eight digits. So let's write down our next number to that, which is multiplied by 10. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight zeros our first nine digit number. And what would we call this in the Indian system? We would call this 10 crores. 10 crores, that's the name we'll give to this, this number. And if I take that number again, and if I multiply that by another 10, then I get one zero 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 zero. You can see how easily it can become difficult to write these numbers and also count the number of zeros. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine zeros. Right? And that's a hundred crores. Right? So that's a very big number. A hundred crores. A hundred crores. So in India, we call this 10 crores and a hundred crores. What do we call this internationally? So a crore was 10 billion. So what will 10 crores be? Right? You get 10 crores by multiplying a crore by 10. So in other words, 10 million multiplied by 10. So 10 times 10 million, what we call a hundred million. So 10 crores is a hundred million. Now the next number that we have is a hundred crores. This is where there's a new name in the international system. So the international system, if you can notice, keeps giving new names every thousand times. So in India, 10 times Thousand multiplied by hundred is a lakh. Hundred multipl lakh multiplied by hundred is a crore. So it's hundred times hundred times. But here, a thousand multiplied by a thousand is a million, and a million multiplied by a thousand is going to be this new word here, which is a billion. B i l l i o n, a billion. So if I have one billion rupees, that means that I have a hundred crore rupees. So is a billion bigger than a crore? Definitely. And not just a little bit bigger, it's a hundred times bigger. So if you look at it over here, you can see that you can start from a thousand and then take it a thousand times and then that becomes a million. So a million is a thousand times thousand and a billion is a thousand times a million. So that's the international system and the Indian system next to each other.